Okay, we have covered a lot of ground in this course. And at this point, you should feel pretty comfortable with the process of building websites with WordPress. But I do wanna give you a concrete example where I bring everything together and show you the process from start to finish in a very practical way. So in this section, I'm gonna be building a brand new website right in front of you and essentially following the process from the course as quickly as possible. And what I've decided to build is a tech blog. You can follow along with this if you want, if you wanna create a local site and uh, just sort of copy what I'm doing, or you can just sit back and watch and use it to draw inspiration for your own projects. So what I have in front of me here is a brand new WordPress site. It's got all the default settings, no plugins, only the default themes. But the one thing I have done is added some content. So I went ahead and added about 10 blog posts with featured images, and I added a couple of pages just so we have that out of the way and ready to go as we start customizing the design. Because we're gonna wanna see what all of this looks like and it's much easier to get a feel for the design of a website when you have some actual content to display. So we've got these blog posts with just a bunch of dummy text and some featured images, and that should be good enough for this tutorial. So going back into the WordPress dashboard here, the first thing I'm gonna do is install the Cadence theme, because again, the Cadence theme is kind of my bread and butter. It's what I keep coming back to again and again. Astra is up there too, but Cadence is just my preference because I like the consistency of you know being able to use the same theme on every site and having the same interface on every site. So I can very quickly move from one site to another and I know where everything is, I know where all the options are and all that stuff. So that's why I use Cadence. It's not that Cadence is better than Astra, um, and you know, there are other themes out there as well that are comparable to these two. I, I don't want you to think that these are the only themes in existence, but these are what I keep coming back to because they do allow you to create something, uh, very unique. You know, they don't lock you into one specific design. They give you the ability to create a lot of different designs while also optimizing your performance. So that's really important to me. Uh, so I'm going to install Cadence and I'm going to activate it as soon as it's installed. Activate. All right, Cadence is ready to go. It's gonna prompt me to install a starter template. I'm actually not gonna do that this time because we are building this from scratch. So we've got Cadence. The other thing I wanna add is the Cadence Blocks plugin. So we'll search for Cadence Blocks, install it, and activate it. We'll use that to build the home page a little later. So that's a good place to stop this video. As we move forward, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into the theme settings, configure the appearance of the site, and then we're gonna start building out a home page and all that good stuff. So I do hope you enjoy this example. I hope it's valuable. And once again, if you wanna install a local site and follow along with me, you absolutely can. Otherwise, just sit back, relax, and hopefully take some inspiration from watching me follow the actual process that I follow every time I build a new site.